You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here, the gentleman poet. Great show today. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV, cause CNAs matter. Friends, most of us have failed or gone astray in one fashion or another, at one time or another, but we need not become despondent at such times. We should resolve to reap the full benefit of the discovery of our weakness, our folly. Let me share this poem. All in the dark we grope along, and if we go amiss, we learn at least which path is wrong, and there is gain in this. But he who loves himself the last and knows the use of pain, though strewn with errors all his past, he surely shall attain. Friends, our business in life is not to get ahead of our others, but to get ahead of ourselves. To break our own records. To outstrip our yesterday by our today. Before you can write a check, you must make out a deposit slip. Before you can draw money out of a bank, you must put money into the bank. Before you are entitled to a living, you must give the world a life. If you want to make a first-class living, learn to give the world a first-class life. Treat the light things in life very seriously and the serious things very lightly. Great art is not restricted to painting, writing, sculpture, or music. There's another art at which we all can excel. It is what Henry David Thoreau called the highest of arts, the art of living. People who practice it are not artists in the usual sense they are people who, through the nobility of their lives, have affected what Thoreau called the quality of the day. Years ago, this was wrote about, pointing out that there are countless obscure people who practice this art. Good people who quietly affect the lives of those about them without even being aware they're doing it. Winning no commendation and expecting none. Everybody at one time or another has known such people, strangers, relatives, or friends who have changed the quality of the day for others. They come into a room in a dark hour, a sick room, say, or a death room, a room without hope, or merely in an hour when we are lonely or discouraged. They may say little, if anything, but the shining quality of goodness radiates from them, from their mere presence. And where there was dark, there is light. Where there was cowardice, there is courage. And where there was listlessness, there is love of life. These friends or relatives 
or wonderful strangers, met at a picnic or a hospital waiting room, all these humble and unaware carry with them the kindness and generosity of their lives. These are the greatest artists. They practice the highest of arts, the art of living, the art of life itself. My final thought, you can't do much about the length of your life but you can do a lot about its depth and width. Friends, I've got to leave you now till next week because it's food right now that my pups seek. <laughs> oh, many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 until next time, this is John Willard from the phone.